I wish I was recommended these books when I was first starting out and trying to break into product design, but too bad I didn't have a time machine because now I'm sharing with you after reading many, many, many books. Hey everyone, my name is Lily and I'm a product designer here in San Francisco. Today I want to talk about the three books I find myself continuously referencing during my interviews or anytime I have a conversation with other designers. And I specifically want to focus on these three books because they are fundamental to how I grew as a designer. So my personal philosophy is that when you have a solid foundational knowledge, going into interviews, you don't need to necessarily rehearse your answers or even when you are asked certain what-if scenarios, you don't need to have had answers already pre-written to tackle those answers. So I hope that these three books will help you the way that they have helped me going into interviews and being ready to answer a lot of those tricky questions such as what would you do if your engineer disagrees with you or the PM questions that always kind of threw me off the course. Now without further ado, let's get started. So the first book that I want to talk about today is a book that is not really that well known in terms of the circles of design. It is not usually on the top five list, but I believe that it should and it's highly, highly underrated. Now this book is Articulating Design Decisions by Tom Griever. Now, why I think this book is especially important is because it is basically how to influence your organization as a designer. And this book can all answer almost any single scenarios that you have been asked either in interviews or you tackle as a designer. Let me try to explain the product team dynamic this way and why this book is especially important. So usually as product designers slash UX designers, we work with PM and engineering as well. So if you imagine one vote in each team, usually the PM sides with engineering because of business constraints. So this book helps you gain influence as a designer so that your designs can ultimately be bought in by one of the two teams or not all the teams. And how do you go around showing your design to stakeholders? How do you go around showing the value of design in your organization? Or how you even communicate why you made the design decisions that you did and story tell how you got to that final solution and ultimately be able to communicate better, um, influence better, and sell your value as a designer and your designs better. I think this book is something that I wish someone gave me when I was still in school because though my professors talked about how important it was as a designer to communicate, I never really realized the importance of it until I read this book. And if you even go on Amazon, you'll see many, many people who say the same thing, that this should be required reading for every single designer. Next book I wanna talk about is the textbook that is required in CCA, California College of the Arts. Now keep in mind, CCA pumps out a lot of Google designers. Like I know so many people who went to CCA either as undergrad or grad and have been able to uh, either get internships in Google or interaction design roles at Google. And I don't think this is a coincidence that this book is what they have built their foundational knowledge on. And I don't think this book is something that you read from one go and you never look at it again because it is so dense for information and it's so, so, so articulate. This book is basically the godfather of interaction design. And as you can see, it is quite dense. There's about 650 something pages and I have taken many, many notes. This book has helped me tackle everything from app critiques to design presentations. This book isn't something that I've just used for interviews. I've also used this book a lot in my job as a product designer. I'm running and answering questions for other designers I'm mentoring or just sometimes to read up and brush up on how design products or how products in the world can be better. And I think this book is probably the most important book I've ever read as a product designer. I was recommended this book by a director of product design who has read many, many books more than me. And he says out of all the hundreds of books that he's read, this book is the most important and condensed one and that there is no book that can rival the knowledge that is in this interaction design book. A lot of you may know this already, but Alan Cooper, who is one of the authors of this book, is very well known and prominent in the design community. No surprises there. 
If I can only take one book with me anywhere about product design, this is the book that I will take. Now the last book I want to recommend you all is something that actually isn't related to design necessarily, but is something that is recommended to PMs. A lot of times in interviews, the hardest questions that are thrown at me are by my PMs. And the ones that stumped me the most in previous interviews have also been PM questions. And there's been a few times that I did not get the job because I wasn't able to answer the PM's questions fully. So I think it's important as designers that we really understand how PMs think because PMs and designers work very closely together. And this book, Inspired, talks especially about that. At the very core, design is serving emotion, which is something a lot of designers forget about. And it talks about how hardware serves software, where it serves user experience and serves emotion. It gets you in that mindset of understanding the reasons why you are designing a product and kind of also is able to give you credibility to when you speak with product managers because when you're speaking their language, they listen. This is not just interviews, this is you know anything from conversations you have on the job with your PMs or even when you're talking about product with other people in the business. So I think this book is just something that's really useful for anyone involved in product to read. So if you are either new to the field or you are growing as a designer, just remember PMs are someone that you want to have on your side because again, that influencing design decisions. Now, if you're still watching this, you're probably wondering why I didn't mention the product design book by Artyom. Even though this book is something that I think every product designer should read, I have found this book to be more of kind of laying the guidelines and laying the foundation for building yourself as a product designer. When I was starting my meetup, a lot of the early exercises we did were from this book or from his email list that he has. This book is something that every product designer should read, but I think there is more depth that you can go into to stand out as a candidate that you would need to explore in other readings. So that's it! Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope this was helpful for anyone out there who is either again trying to break into product design or is growing as a product designer or even my senior designers out there. If you found this especially useful, please like, comment, or subscribe because I am pretty new to this YouTube thing so any feedback is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much! See you next time!